Yo, what's going on, dude? Welcome to another episode of Radio Ridley Radio. I am your host, Michael Ridley. Today's date is May 16th. It's 4.50 p.m. Central Standard Time in the great town of Austin, Texas. Uh, today's a special one. I'm joined by one of my very, very good friends, one of my best buds uh, in the comedy game, you know, in the podcast game, you know, in Tekken. You know him from, uh, you know, it's... My buddy Lamar Lee over here, dude. Oh, what's up, dude? I thought you were going to say more stuff. <laughs> I ran out of stuff to say. I was like, uh, fucking <laughs> podcast piss champion of the world. Yeah, let's go. Never uh, forget. <laughs> fucking rocking. I I lended dude. I lended ye a Bucky's windbreaker. Dude, it dri- it's the drip. We got to keep it cold in the studio, dog. <laughs> yeah. You got to keep it cold in the re- the ridnited states of America, dude. That's where we're at. Episode two, second appearance. Yeah, part two. Part two. Part four. Part six. <laughs> Dude. Part two, part four, part six. Uh, there was a, this was quite an ordeal getting here. I was driving here. It's raining really bad. It's raining bad. It's raining bad here in Austin. It's tonight. one of them cats and dog storms. Yeah, it's it's raining shits and dicks for sure. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> just, that would be crazy. You're just outside like fucking, what is it, a cloudy with a yeah. chance of meatballs, but it's just shits and yeah. severed it's dicks. It's a sack of testicles, <laughs> testicle sack. <laughs> Just looking out your window and just cocks are falling from the sky. Dude, no. God's mad at us today. (laughs) You don't believe it's the end of the world? It's raining shits and dicks out there. Just live turds falling from the sky. It's raining cocks and chicks out there. (laughs) Sorry. I knew it was bad. Uh, You're good. I knew it was bad on uh, on my drive here, like halfway here. I fucking see the clouds. There's just a line in the yeah. sky where it was like, all right, normal cloudiness, kind of gray, and then pitch black like I was driving to the evil part of town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like, all the trees were dead. Yeah, yeah. all the trees are yeah. dead, and there's like a, like as soon as you get there, a raven goes, yeah. Flies away. You're like, ooh, I don't think we're supposed to be here. Scoob. <laughs> it's a bad space for a scoob. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to be here, Scoob. <laughs> I can't do him. I, I got. That's okay. I got nasal. I got too nasally. Can you hear a, a change in my voice a little yeah, bit? Yeah, what's happening? I went to Los Angeles and drank the tap water, and now I'm gay. (laughs) I was in Los Angeles. You got COVID. (laughs) Yeah, I got that new shit, dude. I got that brand new, hot off the presses, straight from Hollywood. Took a swag of that. A swag of that Sprite and chill. Swag Sprite chill. I I like I like the font on this. It's like Sprite chill. It's probably fun. It's cool. It looks like a '70s drawing. Yeah. Cherry lime. It tastes like it has lead in it. Honestly, (laughs) (laughs) that shit. That shit. Sprite chill. It's Sprite and cherry. Hey, Sprite, why does the cherry aftertaste burn my throat like a Newport? <laughs> <laughs> why is it? Why is Sprite advertised towards black people yeah. and then the Sprite chill has the burn? It's like I sip it and yeah. it's like, ooh, I just hit a menthol yeah, cigarette. It be sprite menthol. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you should just name it Sprite Sprite menthol 100. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cigarette font, too. It is a cigarette ass font. It looks like some fucking, like a. Like a like a seventies cigarette. Hold <laughs> it up, yeah, really? Hold Joe. it up to the, your camera. Looks like Pouring Camel Joe. Up. Sprite, chill. It burns my freaking throat. <laughs> it does. It's got a bite to it, bro. That shit's all that cup. <sighs> that's crazy. What do you have? L- tell them everything you have in that cup right this is now. My purple drink. <laughs> <laughs> Lemire's recipe for. I'm on some lean right now. Hey. Uh, I've never done lean before. If I had some, I would I would have to give you some. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the lean is lean is. I uh, did. I've done lean. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. I got prescribed. Lean. I had a Korean doctor. Yeah, I had like a Korean like uh, what is it? The main doctor you see physical primary primary uh, care was yeah. a cur- old Korean dude. Yeah, and I got bronchitis when I was 15, and he sub- uh, subscribed. He prescribed me a fucking <laughs> like a like a 350 of lean, dude. Yeah. Like a little fucking like, hey, let's go out on the town type yeah. shit, dude. I threw that whole thing in a cup of Sprite and turned on Slim Thug. Two liter? Yeah. <laughs> nah, one of these. Just the whole thing with one of these. Dude, Ugh, that was I, a thick goop. Yeah. I was making that purple shit from that Power Rangers <laughs> movie, dude. I was Ivan Ooze. Ooze. Yeah, Ivan I was, Ooze. Dude, I was Ivan Ooze. I What's was a, that odious stench? Just a 15-year-old Asian <laughs> Ivan Ooze listening to Slim Thug on YouTube on my family computer in the living room. Just fucking... <laughs> dude, Ivan Ooze was totally a pedophile. 
Oh no way, dude! Was, he was trying I don't to get remember. Rid of, I don't remember to... that movie. I oh, I would watch it on my grandma's couch type <laughs> shit. I was like yeah. five when that shit came out. Yeah. He was trying to uh, he was trying to brainwash all the parents into giving up their kids uh, to killing themselves, so then all the kids could rule. So then it could be like a kid ruled world. Kid world would suck. Kid world would suck, dude. We're in kid world right now. I know. It feels like we live in kid world. Like, oh, you're you're all cosplaying as adults, and now my uh, oh, I bought a vape from the gas station. Perfect example. I bought a Sorry. vape from the gas station. You're fine, and my I bought it for my wife. And like a week, like three or four days later, she's like, dude, it, you know when you buy one and it just keeps firing. Mm-hmm. Like, I went over there, and I, I found a box at the gas station I was at last night. I was like, all right, dude, I'm going to fucking try my luck and yeah, just bring this yeah. box, the same flavor and everything. And I'm talking to the guy behind the counter. While I have, like, $20 worth of drinks, I'm yeah. buying $20 worth of drinks. Like, look, I come here frequently, yeah. and I spend significant amounts of money. Yeah. I'm like, hey, it's it's broken. And the guy's like, nah, did it take a week? <laughs> did it take a week? Wow. You talk to the boss. You have to take a week. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait. You have to take a week. I don't know what the fuck he was talking. Do I don't mean? know what he was saying. That's kind of stupid. And then the guy, the boss, comes over and he continues to speak in broken English. And I get frustrated. Week. I get frustrated. I'm like, brother, brother, another one? Yes or no? He goes, no. And I'm like, all right, bye. <laughs> like yeah. this kid world. Yeah. It just felt like I was like yeah. this language barrier was just like. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> like, no, it's like, like, can I just? Just give me one, dude. New one, yes yeah. or no? And you're yeah. like, no. I'm like, all right, cool. Thank you, brother. I don't Enough know what else. My age. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of broken English for. He was like trying to explain to me a return policy yeah. with as much English as he had, yeah. <laughs> which is yeah. like in my mind that's a level five English yeah. sentence. Like you need to be a fluent no, English. One week uh, come back. <laughs> yeah. we, try, we try again. Yeah. No, yeah. so it's the. It's crazy that it's been like it's been too long. You don't have a receipt. Yeah, I can't take this back. Yeah, or I can't swap it out. Yeah, it'd be crazy if he like had that perfect like, sir. Uh, it's been too long. You don't have a receipt. I just can't. That that's it, that's what the subtitles he saw were for fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like he was. I just can't exchange goods for no return. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I don't know, dude. Purple ooze, kid world. What happened in L.A.? Oh, what happened in L.A.? Oh. So I saw the Kill Tonys. I spent my birthday like hanging around the yeah. store and shit. Birthday weekend. And How was it? Uh, first night ruled. Yeah. Um, I went to the back with everybody, like in the little regular yeah. smoking area back there at the store, and that was fun, dude. It was cool being in the store. Like I was sat in the OR a few times. Yeah. And it was like just taking in the energy, and I was like, oh yeah. It reminded me of Kazi's a little bit. Yeah. OR uh-huh. OR reminds me of Kazi's, dude. I hate to say it, but it's like the same That's dimensions crazy. as Kazi's. <laughs> oh, okay. And it kind of smells like Kazi's in the OR. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it has that old, old com- yeah. that old interior carpet. Mothballs. Comedy <laughs> yeah. club, that old comedy club smell. Yeah, Every comedy like club. Yeah, it smells like grandma's fucking, yeah, it smells like grandma's house. Yeah. Like, that smell reminded me of the Purple Ooze. Uh, <laughs> Ivan's Ooze. Yeah, it reminded me of the Ivan Ooze Power Rangers movie. That's that same a, smell. I used to have a jar of Ivan's Ooze. <laughs> Was he selling it on his fucking <laughs> Etsy? He's on his yeah. fucking <laughs> Ivan Ooze's Etsy. Come on, yeah. kids. Hey, hey. <laughs> he looked like Crested Crown in the commercial. <laughs> come on, come on. Get some of Ivan's Ooze. And I was, uh, so yeah, I was there. And then I go to the smoking section my first night and I'm hanging around and mingling and shit. And then, uh, Post Malone shows up. Yeah. And I think it was Jacob Adam Myers. Josh. Josh Adam Myers. Yeah. yeah, Josh. The jam. It's me, Josh Adam Myers. Josh Adam I'm Myers. Yeah. Jam. He met his dog. Post Malone met Josh. Like a dog. Yeah. Josh Adam Myers had a. Uh, <laughs> come this- on, Post Malone. You got to come over here and check out Lick a Dog. It's my favorite dog. <laughs> <laughs> Lick a dog. Yeah, Lick that's a dog. exactly what happened. Oh, you're taking the story out of my head. <laughs> No bullshit, dude. I have a photo of Post Malone with Lick a Dog. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, my, dude. Mr. Ridley, the talented Mr. Ridley, can you take a picture of uh, Post Malone and Lick a Dog for me? Yeah. <laughs> then there's Lenny Kravitz. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lenny Kravitz was there. It was crazy. Dude, yeah, that rules. But I riffed, yeah, I riffed with Post and made him, uh, was making him laugh his ass off. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was cool. He's uh, chill. You well, I kept about trying. White Iverson? 
<laughs> you said what? You hit him about being white Iverson? <laughs> Like, yo, ball, dude. You don't ball. <laughs> <laughs> I kept trying to fuck off, and then he was like, no, nah, man, come back, man. Yeah. He's like, all right, this That cool. rules. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. He's like, uh, Red Band, is this guy going to be at Kill Tony with us tomorrow? And I want him there. And I was like, what the yeah, fuck yeah. is going on? Hell yeah. Because I was invited to come out, but I didn't know for sure if I was going to be able to hang. You know, it's yeah. a big, busy event. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, I got my lanyard, and I got to chill back there. Yeah. They had a Froyo machine back there, and that your rules. boy was <laughs> fucking up. I was just chilling <laughs> on the couch. Fucking ice creamed up. Yeah, Froyo. ice creamed up, and then, like, Bobby Lee was there, and all these people Bobby were there. Bobby Lee? Bobby Lee. Oh, I met RFK, dude. Dude. I met Robert. F. Kennedy, dude, Jr. Dude, he was at my damn house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he and was, I was at in your house. fucking Philly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I met him, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, was he like rules. the next day? Does he he flew. Yeah, he was cool. He <laughs> took the pictures. Yeah, yeah. I'll airdrop the pictures to Taylor. But yeah, dude, it was a. Uh, it was so funny, dude. I Get can't. It to the MacBook. Okay, yeah, I'll send it to the MacBook. BBL poster. Mm. BBL posting. BBL Kennedy. <laughs> BBL Robert. <laughs> BBL Robbie. <laughs> BBL Robbie. <laughs> BBL Robbie. Turn the uh, airdrop on for the. It's on. Okay. Robert Kennedy's running mate's a lady. She's pretty smart. She's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. She, something Shannon. I can't remember. Shannon. Something Shannon. Oh yeah, there it is, right I think there. Things like Kyler Shannon. Look, he, see how blurry the picture is. Yeah. He took it. Yeah, old man. <laughs> Let me take that picture for he you. Go, yeah. Right. Yeah, he goes, he goes, I'll take it. <laughs> I was like, all right, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, you ever, okay, you were a Power Rangers says, you remember that one season where it was the weird Aqua Rangers? Mm-mm. No? Can you, you can pull up Taylor, the Aqua Rangers? Yeah. RFK sounds like an Aqua Ranger. <laughs> uh, like he sounds on, like he's underwater. They're always like. <laughs> Did you know that the uh, Mighty Morphin Zordon dude was like Cambodian and kind of looks like me? Wait, the what guy? <laughs> the guy that was the the actor that was in the Zordon tube in Mighty Morphin. Oh yeah, he looks. He's like Cambodian. <laughs> he's actually, oh Cambodian. Here, yeah, he's like some kind of Southeast Asian dude. Yeah. He looks just Rangers. like Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't think this is it, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to work. Aqua Rangers will be in super. Oh, actually. oh, is this not it? No, that's a oh, different I thing. See. Okay, okay, yo, sorry. who is that? That's, that's, <laughs> what, is it like an old show? No, it's just the uh, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. That is. Oh, this. Yeah, but you gotta like uh, hit the vid, catch your voice. Alien Rangers. Yeah, there we go. Aquatar. This one? Yeah. yeah. That's the pilot. Alien Rangers of Aquatar, dude. Still, they, uh, I don't know why they, this is in between Zeo and, uh. The ninja ones were sick, dude. Yeah. This is right before Zeo. Ah, oh, dude, skip ahead. They're not gonna, uh, <laughs> the theme's Cambodian. Yeah, the theme, yeah. No, you gotta keep going. Here we go, oh, damn, the Tangus. No, what are they? <laughs> fucking Aqua Rangers. Oh yeah, that's what happened. The Power Rangers got turned into kids, and they had to use the Aqua Rangers for like ten episodes. Oh yeah, is that? Ex yeah, because there's the one guy. He's a. Here we go. Here oh, we go. Nice. Here we go. Here we found go. him. Here we go. The Aqua Rangers. <laughs> dude, look at the CG, dude. I know, right? Yeah. Wow. Reader repulsed to turn all the Power Rangers to kids. Robert. <laughs> here they go, here they go. Motherfuckers. <laughs> really? I would like it here. This motherfucker, dude. Motherfuckers, dude. <laughs> wow, they didn't give us any, they didn't give us anything. They didn't even no. give us like a hello. Part two. <laughs> Part two, dude. We gotta find this. I gotta hear this Robert. Oh, this is from the official Power Rangers channel too. Oh yeah, so it's Look, it's me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Rangers. Damn it, dude. There it go, there it go. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. All right, there we go. Here we go. That's Billy. It's me, dude. <laughs> yeah. They got your mouth all blurred. Knowledge infusion is confused. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth the three minutes trying to find it. <laughs> Knowledge 
she's gonna bleed. It's Robert, dude. Robert F. Kennedy. I feel like we're gonna get. Yeah, it's okay, dude. It's on YouTube. We don't make money off of this yet, anyway. Aqua Rangers. <laughs> Whoa, the the wizard. <laughs> I just remember. Uh, yeah, they probably had. It was probably like a season of Power Rangers. They had uh, canned. And they're like, how do we use these episodes? We're big. <laughs> Everybody wants more money. We need to show them that we don't need them. Mm -hmm. But they needed them. They needed Tommy and the gang. Yeah, for sure. BBL, Tracy. BBL. No signal in here. No signal in this hoe. Well, Verizon, I have signal in here. How was Philly, dude? It was a hoot. It was a hoot indeed. Yeah, I didn't really do anything. I was just uh just went to drink and hang out. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I got this thing that I've broken. <laughs> oh no! I wanted to fix. I wanted to work. Epoxy, dude. Clear epoxy will fix that, brother. Praise God. Roll tide. <laughs> Kirby, oh, praise God. Roll tide. Yeah. For those listening, it's uh, it's a Kirby keychain that Lemare, uh, somebody made for Lemare, and it was very important to him. Yes. Yeah. Messed it, it up. It's a Kirby keychain that's CNC'd on acrylic, and right <laughs> next to it is CNC'd the words "Praise God." Roll, Roll tide. tide. And, and Lemare, you... Lemare snapped it in half with his ass. <laughs> <laughs> when I was throwing up, yes. <laughs> if you know anything about me, you know there's three things I love to do. Praise God, Roll Tide, and Kirby. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm sorry uh, I'm sorry you got sick on the way up here. Nah, it's okay. I shouldn't have been drinking that much last night. I was making an ass of myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do get rambunctious when you're drunk. Yeah, I got pretty wasted. Yeah. And yeah. And that. I threw up. I, f I threw up in a friggin' morning after I ate some friggin' Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I friggin' uh, pooped my pants in LA hey. at Connie's. Yeah. Yeah. I was, how'd that happen? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I duffed a. Uh, I don't duffed. know. I don't know what it is. Um, My stomach was fucked up the entire time I was there, and I bought yeah. some Pepto Bismol chewables, and I read the back of what it treated. Yeah. And the first thing listed was traveler's diarrhea. What's traveler's diarrhea? It's when you're just like, you're in somewhere you've never been, and yeah. you're drinking the water, and you're eating the food, and your body's like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, like, something as simple as fucking hot dogs and hamburgers from carnies and it was destroying my guts yeah. <laughs> and i and i was taking because uh, you never had la water before <laughs> yeah 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 the la the la food got me dude well i was drinking um i was drinking tap water to take my fucking medicine with and i, I every morning i was taking an allergy pill with just like a little swig of water yeah and that was just the the crucible of diarrhea yeah. <laughs> that was my fucking that was the first domino of diarrhea knocked over yeah. was, uh, and then, you, then you went to carney's and this i went started. to carney's and then i had to take a piss after i ate of course everything was chill and i go back i piss and then i fucking release some post piss gas and PPG. my brother my brother, yeah, I just had to release some PPG right quick and uh, some PPG RQ, and I fucking just, dude, the dam broke, dude. Yeah. I took the Chevy to the levee, and the levee was not dry, my guy. <laughs> I, <fucking, laughs> I, I said mine pants, dude. Yeah. I pooped my pants in Los Angeles, as ugly people do. And <laughs> I was being a stereotypical yeah, uggo in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Ew, get your flat face, poopy pants ass <laughs> out of here, dude. <laughs> You don't belong in Hollywood, yeah. ugly. You're never gonna make it. You're never gonna make it. <laughs> You're never gonna make it in this town, shitty booty boy. Yeah, shitty booty boy. <laughs> shitty booty boy. Do, 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 do. Nothing shitty is more humbling boy. than, um, dude. I had a brand new Supreme hoodie on too. Yeah. And I had to like pull the Supreme hoodie up my up to my <laughs> chest, folks. Up to my chest. Remove my beautiful like i had these really clean jordans on i had to yeah. set the jordans to the side was the bathroom nice the bathroom was nice enough okay, to where okay. i felt comfortable to do that i day. yeah the floors weren't wet thank god yeah but it was like that old subway brown floor tile yeah. you know what i'm talking about and that those wrinkly paneled walls that you yeah. see in an old bathroom so it was kind of dank in there it was dank and kind of just not uh, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. It was nice enough for me to raw dog with my socks yeah. to take my to yeah. to gently wiggle my. I had these khakis on too, dude. Yeah. I was wearing these khakis. I had to slip my 
dookie draws off. Yeah. Dude, the it was draws. like it literally felt like I was hanging from a ceiling and like <laughs> taking the diamond through the lasers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was definitely the situation. Yeah. <laughs> And uh Yeah, you drilled a hole into the back of your pants. Yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah. The draws, I gently fold them, discard them to the side, your boy cleans up or whatever. But nothing was more humbling. The next part of the heist, the final part of the heist, was making an envelope out of paper towels. Yeah. Building a casket for my retired draws yeah. that has shit in them. Yeah. And then raw dogging khakis. To the dumpster, but here's the thing: like the way Carney's is, I was on the me- I was on the bathroom side. Yeah, and there's a stairway that leads you through the patio, and there's a front entrance. Yeah, your boy has the envelope of Doogie Draws, yeah. and I just hopped the fence. Where'd you get the- an envelope? I made an envelope oh, out of oh, the paper it. towers. Okay, okay, okay. Paper yeah. towers. Paper towers. I made an envelope out of paper tower, yeah, and then so I serious. jumped the fence, went to the back lot of Carney's, and threw my shitty draws in their recycle only bin. <laughs> recycle that shit. <laughs> yeah, you can recycle my dookie draws. There you go. Give those to the kids in Papua happened? New Guinea. You jump back in the car and he's like, nothing happened? No, I was actually on my way out, thankfully. Oh, okay. Hopped in my Ooh. rental, went to the Best Western across the street where I was staying, and I uh, cried in the shower and <laughs> put on new clothes. Nice, so, yeah, nice. I've been I've been where you've been hey, today. I, I didn't cry. <laughs> oh, you didn't cry. Well, throwing cry. up, I wouldn't cry. No. Pooping my pants and then being fucked like, and who embarrassed. Who the fuck am I? Who, who, who am I? Who so, am I yeah. Cute? Uh, like the, Stupid. This is my birthday weekend. I can shit my pants if I want to type <laughs> beat. It's my birthday weekend. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty horrible, actually. I, uh... <laughs> Why did you just spit bubble balls out on camera? What the hell was that? Why would you do that? Podcast over. I don't want to do this anymore, dude. What the hell? I'm I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to be a goof. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Those those were the intrusive thoughts, dude. (laughs) They win. They for sure won in that moment. You're like, dude, I should fucking. I thought it'd be funny. It was pretty funny, (laughs) actually. I'm sorry. It's okay. A little crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm wild, brother. Yeah. No. (laughs) Just spitting into this thing. Um, What was I going to say next? I can't remember. I've been taking these. uh, I was taking these goddamn uh, edibles. They're like focus edibles, which it's curing my ADHD. But side effects are I'm high as fuck. (laughs) I'm fucking blasted. They use edibles for medicine now? It, well, it was like well, it was like five milligrams THC and then two milligrams five THCV, which is I guess a part of THC that improves focus and cognitive uh, coordination. Shit, you know, improves your cognitive, improves your brain function. You know, I could probably I could probably juggle three chainsaws right now. <laughs> it's giving me blind confidence. <laughs> oh, going are they are they uh, running? Three hmm. work three running chainsaws. Three running chainsaws. Yeah, yeah. But like the mini ones from uh, yeah. Dead Rising. Okay. You remember the clown from Dead yeah. Rising? Do you remember yeah. that game? Yeah. Dead Frank Rising West, ruled. Really? Taylor, you remember that? Yeah. Dude, Frank West. That take was him. like the first big zombie title on Xbox, Xbox 360. 360. I'm pretty sure. Right? I remember the font being too goddamn small. It was the f- seventh? Because of, um, I was trying to make Xbox 360. Oh. But, um, <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> it's because your TV was probably old, right? You yeah. know, you get an Xbox 360 before you get a new TV. Oh, yeah. The font's like this small. You're like, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know I needed to change. Dude, Dead Rising stressed me out. Yeah. Oh, I lost years of my life to that game from the stress, I bet. Because it was just the, the with the camera, just, yeah. Yeah. just fucking so oh, many zombies. I need my broom. <laughs> yeah, and you kind of move so slow, too. Yeah, but you can drink like, the thing is, is once oh, you figure yeah, out you the drinks. The you figure out like two coffee creamers and an orange juice, and then Frank like. <laughs> that was one of those games too. They really make you suck their dick for a gun, like in the beginning. Yeah. Like you don't get a gun for like the first third of the game. Yeah. It's all baseball bats and axes and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I knew where the shotgun. I knew where an Uzi was. I remember I would always go grab an Uzi and a katana. I always like the moment I spawn out of the safe house, I'm like, all right, grab my Uzi, grab my katana. There's like there's routines. If you stick yeah. to a routine and. It, like, forces you to play by a routine. Yeah. Because if you don't, you're like, oh, man, I'm all the way out here. It would be nice to have that katana that I just had stowed in my inventory. Fuck my katana. 
The bosses were fun too. I didn't really play it. You didn't really play <laughs> no. it. Oh, uh, now we're going down this whole Dead Rising <laughs> shit. And... I just I know him from a uh, Marvel versus Capcom. He was oh yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. You could play. Yeah, you could play yeah. as Frank West. You would throw zombies at motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You could take pictures of the zombies' tits in that game, and it would be like it would reward you. Yeah. <laughs> if you zoomed in on boobs, it would give you like sexy. Uh, it was a mini game. It was like a photo mini game. Yeah. It was like horror drama. You know, fucking there were categories. Yeah. Of sexy. photos you can take. Sexy was yeah. one of them. Was there hot zombies? Yeah, there were like dead strippers and shit walking around. You know yeah. what I mean? So you like, know a game nobody ever brings up? Remember Lollipop Chainsaw? No. Mm-hmm. No? This was a game made by James Gunn. Uh, it was like a cheerleader with a severed head. I remember red. this now. Yes. Yeah. I, I didn't play it, but I remember seeing the cover art and it yeah. looked thick as fuck. It's basically Dead Rising Bayonetta. Uh Get the vids, brother. You're not gonna get any anything from the from the image jaws. Yes. It's a crazy game. It's nice. It was pretty fun. This guy's gonna be chatting the whole time. Yeah, keep it. Oh, it this off. some dickhead's about to be yap, yap, yapping the whole time. Yeah, it's got look, and it's got the Resident Evil font too. The Resident yeah. Evil 4 font coming to the I don't remember this now. at all. It's a PS3. This is end of air, end of life PS3 360 game. No way. End of a uh, yeah, that's her boyfriend, I believe. Damn, they're showing a lot of a lot of ass, a lot of a lot of lewdness. Yeah, it's a little sexy game. Games used to be sexy. You used to be able to have hot ladies in video games. Right. Man, this guy sucks. <laughs> Dude, this guy. Yeah, that's that's James Gunn. But wait, yeah, we can't watch his review. <laughs> this video stinks. I hate this guy. <laughs> Dorkax, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> no, no, we love you over here, Dork Axe. No, we don't. No, oh, I mean it. they love you over there, but we don't love you over, over here. here. Over right, here. here's the first <laughs> first fifteen minute gameplay. Yeah, the oh, first fifteen okay. minutes is cutscenes or some shit. Yeah, she's like uh, in school or something. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <She's> like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a happy girl. No butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is loading screen. That's Adios. her boyfriend. There we Dude. go. Boom. Damn. Where'd you get that from? Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Well, maybe I do remember. <laughs> Evil Empire. Like, I remember them advertising this game. Lollipop yeah. Chainsaw. You already know. Do you remember No More Heroes? No. No More Heroes? With a, That was a Wii game. It wasn't by uh, this guy, but it was just like a this style of game where you like fought to be the number one assassin or something. Yeah. It's pretty cool. No more heroes on oh. It was on Wii. On Wii. Yeah. This game almost has like a crazy taxi z- vibe. Yeah. <laughs> like it was zombie animation style. Yeah. yeah, and just how you like collect like arcade like zombie game. Yeah, it's a ar- it's an arcade zombie game. There's it's fun. There's an era of PS3 games that are lost to time, dude, because like nobody ever played them. Did you ever have uh did you ever have a PS Vita? Yeah. Oh, dude. Brother. The Vita ruled. I really wish that they did more with that, honestly. I, I miss the PS Vita. I love the Vita for porn. Oh, yeah, yeah, It was yeah, the yeah. best handheld porn device I've ever had in my life. Yeah, and then uh, honorable <laughs> mention, PSP in middle school. Yeah. PSP in middle school went hard. Everybody had Bang Bros videos on their <laughs> PSP <laughs> memory card. There's just somewhere in a landfill. Somewhere in a landfill is a, a box of PSP proprietary SD cards yeah. full of Bang Bros. <laughs> a bunch of UMD drives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh... <laughs> Yeah, they have uh, homebrews for the PS Vita now. So I had, like if you have a Vita, you can hack it and then keep it modern, pretty keep it relatively modern. Sick. Yeah. I had a uh, Metal Gear on PS Vita. That yeah. shit was amazing. Dude. Yeah, just to have. Yeah, I. That's what I want. I want to. I want something as powerful as a gaming PC, in the size of the Vita. Yeah. And when I can have that for twelve hundred bucks, <laughs> like somebody needs to make that. I found a Steam Deck at the airport in Philadelphia. I forgot. It was just sitting on the chair in case. I was like, damn. Did you get it reset? No, nah, I'm about to. I'm about to do it. I'm trying to find out. It's a little difficult, but. Why yeah. don't you make a TikTok and return it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a blessing from find God. Keepers, bitch. Yeah, I know. No, right? that's why you threw up today. No, I fucking tried to give it up to him. I did it. I've been on podcasts for like a week, being like, "Yo, Yo I found your Atlas underscore Li. I got your Steam Deck. Really? Get me up on Steam or something? Yeah, I have it's not your working. Steam Deck. It's not working. You can have it back. 
It's probably you why could I have ditched it. Back, it. But now it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Finders keepers, dude. Yeah. And also, you stinkers. slipping, dude. You slipping hard as a bitch. How yeah. much do those cost? It had to be like six hundred. <laughs> it was. Dude. It was just on the chair. It was just like Bugging. on the bench. It was like on the bones. bench. Uh, and like he got in the chair. Like he got in the car and left it. Like he forgot oh, all about yeah. it. Yeah. I want one of those so bad. I want a handheld gaming PC, dude. Are those worth no. it? No, they suck. No. <laughs> Get a laptop. <laughs> I have a gaming laptop yeah. already, and it rips. Yeah, gaming laptops are way better. My gaming laptop, dude. I'm you so grateful. Yeah. I've never had gaming computers yeah. before. My first two gaming computers I bought last year, yeah. and I bought a fucking MSI desktop that rips, and yeah. then I bought an MSI gaming laptop that yeah. has the same specs. Yeah. It was just three grand. Yeah. The portability is what makes it so expensive. Yeah. Wait. No. I paid like twenty five hundred. <laughs> I think I paid twenty seven hundred for this laptop. For the, how much did you pay for the PC? PC was like twelve, thirteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Same specs. Yeah. Yeah. Just the fucking Shrinking good ass screen. Shrinking up the spots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a fucking yeah, eight hundred dollar, thousand dollar screen. It runs everything just fine. I don't yeah. have any issues. I don't have to do any stupid shit. I just download the game and hit play, and I yeah. got Call of Duty in my lap at the airport. The problem with like the handheld PCs is like playing games like this is optimal. Yeah. And then you got to hold it up and like it gets heavy. Yeah. It's like, and then it's like, kind of sucks dick. Yeah. It sucks dick. Controller and a headset, I think, would be the best way to do it. What do you mean? Like a VR headset, but it doesn't, it's just a screen and you can just, oh, okay. and it has the mic and shit integrated in it yeah. already. That would be, and you just put it in a, in a carrying case. Yeah. Like this, what was this, Stadia? Oh, Stadia. The, Stadia, the Google Stadia. Yeah, everything. Google Stadia that failed horribly, <clears throat> but like was good in concept if you just combined it with a headset. It's literally what everyone's doing right now. Like it's Xbox Cloud. Stadia Cloud. was yeah, Stadia was uh, too soon. I feel like, and people and didn't understand what cloud gaming was. They packaged it with a bullshit device and bad controllers. Yep, yep. Proprietary yeah. greed. They should have collabed with Xbox on it or something. There's one called like, Ookla. 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 See, I got sta- I got a state of Eucla. Man, you either got Stadia or you got Ookla. Well, we had state of Ookla, man. That's all we had growing up. <laughs> Getting Malibu's most yeah. wanted right quick, dude. <laughs> Do you remember that one? What? That was the other. Ookla? Yeah. Hell no, brother. That that's that's like some Roku. You, you know Roku? Yeah, it's like people know it Roku. Is, it is It is a O-O-K, yeah. Ookla? No. Who the hell is that? Uh, Best of Thunder Ookla. Cloud gaming device. A cloud. God dang it. Ookla. I don't think that's what it's called. I don't think this existed. I it existed. I think it's cap. It existed. That, wait, like wait, what was that? <laughs> mobile game. No, no, no. Up, up, up. Cloud game. No, never Oracle. Mind. Oracle. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Yo. Oh, uh, Ridley, you wanted me to. I'm sorry. What? Uh, you wanted me to put, bring this up. Hmm. Uh, just a little news. Oh, yeah, Little yeah. Texas News. You want yeah. to bring this up? San Antonio bar owner calls for no Edgar policy after fatal Fiesta shooting, which is like the most Houston shit I've ever read in my life, dude. Houston is a third world country. San Antonio? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. San Antonio. <laughs> Sorry, whatever. I've never, uh, I haven't been to San Antonio lately, but yeah. I, I just wanted to shit on H Town for a second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, San Antonio. And uh, sorry to Houston. But yeah, it's kind of a. It's kind of gangland, crazy. Houston? I didn't know Houston yeah. was crazy. Houston is crazy. Yeah. I saw a video of this girl. She got rear-ended. She rear-ended somebody. And yeah. then a guy was like, he was doing the, hey, y'all can't park there. She pulls out a gun and just shoots it in the, in the air yeah. twice, smiling. Have you in seen that? San Antonio? No, that was in Houston. Oh, no. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, she just, like, pulls it out, and she's like, pom, pom, and he laughs. like, But yeah. he's laughing like it's normal, and I'm like, that's some third world country, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. That's like some Syrian pirate shit. It's like, <laughs> I'm just going to fire two shots and you're going to leave me alone. We live like this, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, welcome to H-Town, dude. dude. No no Edgar policy is hilarious. Shit, bro, what you talking about? I can't come inside, bro. Like, do they have signs that I didn't no even Edgar know those guys. At, I didn't even know those guys at the Fatal Fiesta shooting, bro. This shit out of pocket, bro. <laughs> you're fucking bugging, bro. You're telling me me and Edgar and Edgar and Edgar Jr. and Edgar Sr. can't come inside, bro? That's crazy. I'm trying to figure this out. This device is blowing my mind. What, you're still stuck on the yeah. old Uka Luke, dude? It's yeah. like a mandala effect thing. Like yeah, this is like the anymore. Shazam of gaming video <laughs> of gaming devices. It's like, dude, I swear it existed. It now you can't find like it a, online. Yeah, because they got like a they got in trouble because they didn't 
keep up with any of their dang promises that they made on Kickstarter. Yeah, so it was a Kickstarter, and then they... Uh, Is it Oogie? Oogie? Yeah, it was a Kickstarter. They got ultimately successful. Yeah. And then, like, uh, Google came out with their thing, and they were like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, we don't shit. actually have any partners. We don't actually have any games. We lie. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm never going to find it. Did you hear about the uh did you hear about the portal? Yeah, getting in shut New down. York and Dublin. Oh, it got shut down. Yeah, it got shut down. Yeah, because people were like flashing their titties and then uh one guy would like the guys in Dublin and yeah. Ireland, they'd always like do a 9/11 yeah, <laughs> picture in yeah. the camera. Dude, yeah. Just the towers burning and <laughs> Dude, I mean like what else do they expect? <laughs> it's such a dumb idea, dude. It's just human fucking engineering. What the hell? Quit texting me. It's, it's just the way that we, yeah, if you give us a thing and then we'll show you we don't deserve it. A new device? Nah, dude, that's just how we communicate. Eventually, it would get to people sharing papers. Like, mm -hmm. it just has to start with titties and 9-11. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> it all starts at titties and 9-11, and then it goes into research papers. Yeah. <laughs> it always does start with titties and 9-11. I take a Tokesker do. I mean, think about if you think about like yeah, no. Times Square no. before they yeah. like made it what it is today. Yeah, it's like it's like it was all only porn, porn yeah. theaters with like nude videos. Where yeah. like really? that's all it was. Yeah. What? Times all Square of Times Square was like a bunch of porn. All like Times Square was like thirty was, those thirty cent jerk off things. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, yeah, put yeah. a coin, Peep you put a quarter, put a quarter in, and you can see a lady take her shirt off if you go. Like this. <laughs> Every time you walk past an, elect an, elect an electronic store in New York, it used to be a porn drawn. Yeah, a porn drawn. Yeah, almost like definitely. So That's it, crazy. It all starts yeah. with titties and nine eleven. Dude. Yeah, and then oh, and, really, and then um, yeah, it's just what the meta is, just like how the meta changed titties with uh. Yeah, just like the meta changes, it's like uh, just like how we wipe our ass. We uh, we wipe our ass different in 2024. How do we wipe our ass in 2024? People, um, here's the thing. I grew up in the Filipino house. We've been using water and paper, Dang. you know, a combination of water and paper. I've For always sure. wet my toilet paper. White people have found out what the, the bidet is. Yeah. Once white people discovered what the bidet was, it's a wrap now. <laughs> like, oh, this is the new standard. Yeah. Everyone's using baby wipes and fucking bidets. And I'm going to tell you right now, I've been washing my ass with water and baby wipes since I was a kid. And I told people in school, and they made fun of me. They laughed at me like, ew, what the hell? Me. I don't get it, dude. It was yeah. always white kids making fun of me for wiping my ass they with water. Dirty ass hands. Well, yeah, the shitty booty butts. <laughs> just yeah, shitty booty butt hands. Just out there with those itchy assholes. And yeah. I'm over here with a pristine, <laughs> clean... Yeah. Filipino pooping machine, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like these motherfuckers out here got that fucking chapped ass. Yeah. Oh, nothing I hate more than a, than a chapped yeah. dookie hole, dude. You're just like chapped duker. Yeah, you're walking around. You can just feel your asshole yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> your butt, your asshole looks like somebody stubbed their toe in a cartoon. <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> I hope there's no cuts down there. I know. And you're wiping your ass with that shredded. Single ply, dude. Yeah. Bidets. First time I hit a bidet, I was in, I was living in Japan and I was skipping school and we were skateboarding and I had crucial morning diarrhea. Yeah. And I fucking mm -hmm. went to the goddamn uh, public comedy gym. No, no <laughs> I went to the damn comedy gym. No, I went to the damn bathroom in uh, McDonald's and yeah. they had those. They had the Japanese toilet even in the they McDonald's. They got bidets in McDonald's. Yes, brother. This was in 06. You used a public bidet. No, it was like the Japanese toilet seat. Was like You've the, never seen a oh like me, the ones to the side with the buttons and shit and the heated seat it had all that in the McDonald's partition all the way to the floor lock that lines up perfectly. So wait, you had a public used a public bidet? Yes. Is that bad? I feel like that's way gross. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What? It's hooked up into the water line. Yeah, but you, get Do you know how bidet bidets work. Yeah, you're getting shit particles blasted in your asshole. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Well, I was in middle school. You live and you learn. <laughs> Public bidet. Use your homie's bidet. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I trust him. That's my boy. I trust him. I'm not just going to be giving my booty hole willy-nilly to the public, yeah, he I'm says. Gonna... You're right. Yeah, I should save myself for something more serious. Like, have I been to your house? Have we had dinner? Yeah. Oh, thanks for coming to my birthday, too, by the oh, way. Oh, dude, that no was problem. Good. You're fucking ruined. That was awesome. Ta house. Thank that, you for coming, Taylor. That roadhouse ripped. 
Roadhouse. Dude, I, that's the best Texas Roadhouse in Austin. And I'm going to tell you right now, the service was good because they couldn't keep up with us. Yeah. Bro. We were putting it fucking we're down at that down. table. Like we were at the fucking, like we were Vikings in Valhalla. Yeah. I can't Just, believe I ate that whole steak. Dude. More rolls, please. What did you get, dude? You got a porterhouse or did you get I a ribeye? Prime rib. Prime rib. Yeah. Lamar was in the car like, why'd I do that? It was brutal. <laughs> My stomach hurt. Yeah. Did you have any of the cake? Yeah. Did you, did. you had the cake? Yeah, I had a piece oh, of cake. Wow, yeah. Dude, we yeah, fucking yeah. gorged, yeah. dude. <laughs> we feasted. And then I fucking went to LA and riffed with Post Malone. And shit your pants. <laughs> and I shit my yeah. pants two days after I met Post Malone. Yeah. yeah. You were like, oh shit. I met Post Malone. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I fucking shit in my pants. I'm walking hella weird back to my hotel. I got Dookie in my draw, son. Yeah. I gotta clean my what Asian mean, buns, cause I shit my pants. <laughs> Are those all the lighters you've stolen recently, Lamar? Hey, one of these is yours. Yeah, the green one's mine. <laughs> the fucking the the council of you Bix. So many Welcome to the council of Bix. We've yeah. all joined. We've all been. We all come here today by the, the 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 thieving hand of Lemaire. Huzzah! No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just, you know, they just lighters come, lighters go. Mm-hmm. I got another one in my bag too. Whose is that? Mine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're just creating these Power Ranger <laughs> lighters, <Yeah>. dude. Dude's <laughs> like. <laughs> Green Ranger and Pink Ranger, dude. Yeah, they kiss. Yeah, they did kiss. Blue Ranger and Green Ranger, because Blue, Blue Ranger's Billy's gay. gay. <laughs> Billy's gay, dude. <laughs> Billy. Did we talk about Power Rangers last time? I think we did. Yeah, we uh, talked about Blue Ranger being gay. <laughs> so why do we always talk about Power Rangers? I love Power Rangers, we, dude. We always find our way back to Power Rangers when Lamar's here, dude. I love Power. I've been talking about it so much recently. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta stop. <laughs> It's all over my algorithm. You think, do you think they got a shitter on the Megazord? They got to have a shitter on the Megazord, dude. I feel like there's the suits probably just like... They can shit in the suits? Like they take away, like, you know? They probably just take it away. And turn it into energy for the suit? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that uh, Disney, uh, that Disney TV movie, Disney original, where the kid's in the suit? No. Type that in, dude. <laughs> It's like it was my Dunstan dream. Checks in. It was my dream as a kid to find a an alien Power Ranger suit falls from the sky and this kid goes to the crater and he like gets sucked into it and then he has the night of his life as a fucking super soldier yeah. alien suit kid. Star kid. Star kid. Yes, dude. Star kid ripped. Yeah. <laughs> Mars attacks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Star kid, go to the win- go to when Mars attacks. I want to look at that real quick, dude. <laughs> yeah, why? Yo, yeah, right, right there. Yeah, yeah, why? Yo, why does Martian can get it? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo, why does his head look like a nutsack, yeah. dude? Yeah, everybody got. I bet he gives the best dome. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> like a dude in the background, bro, with the with the Ahe Gao <laughs> eyes in the back. I forgot they like a. Uh, <laughs> they did the CG in that movie. <laughs> the aliens came out and the movie was basically S- over. Star Kid, bro. Yeah, he got the whole. Ugh. Brother, ugh. Brother, ugh. Movie. Brother. Oh, ugh. you can watch it for free on movie. Yeah, dude. That's yeah. crazy. He had a dump, costume design kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, like, boy, you thick. Look at him. He's looking at it like, he's Jesus like, Christ. Damn, bro. He's caked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a guy got a little scrody poking out the back. If you zoom back in, <laughs> there's a little bit of They put like a scrody patch in the suit, dude. <laughs> it's a gooch patch back there. Dude. <laughs> little gooch patch, dude. Yeah, Star Kid, bro. Pull it up, dude. That's such a good I wanna, I'm gonna watch that. I'm, I wanna say, Chelsea, let's watch fucking Star Kid, dude. You should watch the Simpsons movie. That was my dream. Simpson, Simpsons with the Simpsons Spider movie. Pig? Yeah. I th- Spider I th- Pig? I feel Spider like I've Pig. seen it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, they only released one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just rewatched with it the, the dome, other day. the dome over the. Yeah. Eba! <laughs> dome, dig a dome, dang a dang, dig a dig a. There was some guy under the dome, and he was like, I don't know which way to go. I'm in. I'm out. I'm in. I'm out. And then he gets crushed by the dome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> Have you seen any of the new Fallout show? No. On Amazon? You got to check it out. No. Dude. Rips. Well, sick of people asking about that. You got to check yeah. it out. Rips, dude. Watch you, X-Men 97, Did bro. you like the games? No. You Watch X-Men like 97. <laughs> Lamar no. doesn't like anything we like, dude. 
I do like stuff you like. <laughs> I know. I'm just <laughs> you don't like the stuff I like. Yeah, I never watched Breaking Bad. I refuse still. I haven't watched Breaking Bad either. Sounds like a you problem. I keep thinking. Nah. I just keep thinking of how much power we Breaking had. Breaking Bad's going to get lost in time. <laughs> Thinking about, uh, I just keep thinking about. I want to go back to Texas Roadhouse. For yeah, dude, dude, I just, oh, I, I'll just like more rolls, please. Dude, I can't dude. Texas Roadhouse anymore. <laughs> dude, we threw down sixteen rolls at that table, yeah. dude. That shit was fucking wild. Dude. Yeah. Once we got that momentum going, she was like back and forth, back and forth, because yeah. there's literally no room for the, all the plates. We were just yeah. like here to keep keep bringing this shit. <laughs> Here's more. Yeah, like if if you deduced it to three words or like a couple of words, it'd be like keep bringing the food, bitch. That and was the vibe of the table, it dude. It was also fucking packed. It was packed. They put us in a retarded area. Yeah. That area sucked. Yeah. I was low key pissed about that, but I was like, I'm here with the boys. Yeah. I'm trying to make this weird. work. <laughs> I was like, damn it, we invited Matias. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Matias. <laughs> damn it, they didn't give us enough seats. I booked it for put, six. We should have put Matias on one of those little uh, kids. The high, the high chairs. chairs. Yeah, Matias yeah. could fit in the high chair. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dude, he wears a size 6Y shoe. 6Y? <laughs> yeah, he has little Mario feet, yeah. dude. He has <laughs> little. Ear- <laughs> He, he's got a. He got them. Here we go. <laughs> he got them. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Head <laughs> <Wah>! ass. <laughs> you guys are making all the Mario noises. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get a copyright for that. They're like, those those were too good. You have to pay us. Yeah. Okie dokie. No. <laughs> <laughs> That was me when I shit my pants. I felt like that was a, <laughs> that was a real that was a real a warrior. warrior. That yeah. was a real Wario move of me. <laughs> All I can think about now is that I gotta clean up the fucking throw up on my car. It's the only yeah, thing I just go of. to the car wash across the street and just turn a power ra- washer on on your dash. Fuck it, dude. No, nah, it was just on the door. Oh, then power yeah, wash the door. Wipes. Yeah, Clorox wipe it. Clor- well, yeah, I would. I will go to that car wash across the street and just be like, I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but, like, I threw up in my car. And then open the passenger seat, crawl through, and spray the door Yeah. from the inside. Then come back. It will come back over it with Clorox we'll just wipes. just let a man clean my car. Yeah, just be like, here you go, dude. Here's 600 bucks. <laughs> Martin Springs car wash rips. I'll clean the throw up out of your car. How much do you want to pay me? <laughs> I need the cash. I'll, I'll do that, dude. For no 200 way, bucks, dude. dude. 200. That's crazy. Throw up. What's your price to clean up throw up, Taylor? Like, if you were... Airbnb host. Mm, it's two fifty. Two fifty for sure. Uh, somebody I stayed in an Airbnb and it fucked up my friendship with somebody because yeah. the lady put fake throw up in the room that I was staying in. Yeah. And I was always I was drinking the whole weekend, so he fucking I dude I did not I'm not gonna crawl out of bed and throw up on the carpet and crawl back in bed. I'm not a fucking monster. I'm a grown man. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> to the fucking bathroom. Mm-hmm. In the middle of the night, in the dark, echolocate the ba- <laughs> echolocate the toilet <laughs> with, with the that. throat gulps. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it bouncing off the fucking bowl. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. all right, I'm here, fucking, and then just, yeah, throwing up. There's something beautiful about throwing up. The instantaneous relief, such good relief. Holy fuck, dude! I, I know if people think it's nasty or whatever. I'm grateful. When I was drinking heavy, bro. When I'd get that throw up, I was like, oh, thank God, because yeah. you could feel the drunkness leaving, yeah. and you're like. All right, let me go uh, rinse my mouth out in the bathroom and get some gum and go drink some more beer. When I want to get too messed up, I, I like, throw up. I just make myself throw up. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, I'll be fine. You might have to, yeah. yeah. Throw up and brush your teeth. i in the morning. Brush your teeth. It's just, yeah, it's the acid on the teeth that sucks. That's the one drawback of hurling. But if you drink all water or if it feels all liquid, then yeah. But if it's food and shit, that's shit. Sucks. I don't need no teeth. No teeth? I don't need no stinking teeth. Lemire's just gonna have gums. He's just gonna be a gummy dude. <laughs> hey. I'm getting those. I'm getting those things. I'm getting the veneers. I'm getting fake teeth as soon as I can. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> dude, get some. Get some fucking. Get some fucking dentist the menace Mentos teeth. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> some fucking dentine ice in your mouth. <laughs> My teeth are too small. I bet they wouldn't even be able to like do anything. No, they can mount something to those. You do have little dolphin teeth. <laughs> you do have like little reptilian. Yeah. Chompers. <laughs> yeah, like if you if you bit into something, I could be like, yeah, that's Lemire. Dude. Look, at, the <laughs> Look at the bite. Look at this. This is the uh, bite mark of a six year old dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Too too wing too bite. I'm fucking high as shit, dude. Yeah. Is, you having fun? Yeah. Is it a good one? Yeah. Taylor, you think this is good? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm <laughs> high. Lemaire's rallying right now, dude. Yeah. Who are you rallying for? No, he's just rallying for it because he's he just threw up in the car on the way. So oh. he's, he's, he's 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 like. <laughs> yeah, I'm severely hungover. I'm trying yeah. to keep it together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude. <laughs> he's doing great. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. I know there was parts where I blanked out, <laughs> but <laughs> I had to recharge. I'm high. You're hungover, <laughs> and everyone's having a good time listening. I think it has been pretty good though. It was yeah. pretty funny. The the sprite menthol is. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna take another sprite. swig of it. Get a damn swiggity swing. The reaction. <sighs> oh, dude, it's spicy. <laughs> it's spicy as hell. <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah. What? Um. I should just start going on stage with a cup of lean. Be like, I don't drink no more, but I do sip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink no more, but I stay sipping. I don't drink no more. Five grams of psilocybin and your boy's tripping. <laughs> Brand new Michael Jordans on my feet and they dripping. What are they dripping? Keep your circle tight, man. Them boys out there be slipping. But wait, what are they dripping? Uh, I don't know. Taylor, uh, piss, <laughs> piss, <laughs> fucking pee pee. Taylor <laughs> gave me a... <laughs> Hey, Diarrhea. listen to this. This motherfucker did some crazy <laughs> gaslighting shit to me last night. What? We were in the yeah. studio. This motherfucker's like, you want to trade a Zin? He's got, like, Citronella Limon Zin, yeah. and I have a cool mint, which is Citronella fucking Citronella Limon. Yeah, Citronella Limon like Zin. A, like a candle? My brother, when I put this thing in my lip, I, tr I we do the trade. He's like, nah, they're pretty good. And I was like, man, them things are nasty, I bet. And I, he's like, nah, dude, they're pretty good. And so I do the trade. I throw this thing in my lip, dude. This motherfucker tastes like the way the creek in the cave urinal <laughs> cakes smell when they change them out. Brand new lemon urinal yeah, cake in yeah. my lip, dude. <laughs> Disgusting. This motherfucker yeah, was like, you, I, I put... I put fucking mosquito spray in yeah, my mouth, dude. dude. It was Citronella is crazy. That is a crazy flavor. I was like, what the hell? That's worth a menthol Sprite, dude. Yeah, they did. Yeah, for me, the worst flavors of the week, uh, worst flavors of the week, it's something we do here at uh, Radio Ridley Radio. We talk about the worst things that I've tasted in the week. Ingested? Yes. Uh, Sprite Chill, I give it a one out of five. <laughs> and Citronella Zin, Goose Egg out of five. Holy Goose. fuck. Goose. Yeah, I wish I could give it less, but the zero is based off of the uh, just the sheer job of providing me nicotine is what it did. Like, if I was on an island, I'd be stoked to find a citronella, uh, citronella fucking zin. You gotta stop saying it, because I have one in, and every time you say it, I just it tastes more and more you, like the candle. You're in a you're cake. Like, you're, you're, like, making me think. You're Sorry, tricking. Taylor, you picked a bad flavor, brother. It sucks. All they had. There's a cool mint shortage. In California, all they had was chill and tobacco. You couldn't yeah, I bought a uh, cool mint Zins there, and they were fourteen dollars. I found yeah. some, and I was like, "Why are they so expensive?" And I was like, "Oh, because California is kind of gay, and they ban uh, like flavors." Not kind of gay, very gay. It's very gay. They ban the flavors of Zin, but then I go into a weed store and I bought fucking weed PBR drink. So like, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me cool mint Zin. You they're like, we're not going. We're not trying to attract cigarettes to kids, but weed is pretty. Ah, this this tastes leg. exactly like a fucking camp camping candle right now. Yeah, it tastes like those. It's terrible. It tastes like those tiki <laughs> torches that they stormed those towns with. Yeah, it tastes like it tastes like Charlottesville, Virginia. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your shit tastes like that uh, back center, oh. back section of a Lowe's. Now that there's a long time mm -hmm. from this, the video of that girl getting hit by the car is pretty funny. Which one? In Charlottesville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been it's been long enough been to long laugh enough. about it. Now yeah, that all the time has passed, it was pretty funny when that lady got hit. <laughs> yeah, that was fucked <laughs> up, dude. That what, was, was it? A, she went the flying. Dodge Charger that ran Spinning all those people around. over. Oh. No, it was like in Char Charlottesville, Charlottesville, Virginia. Charlottesville, Virginia. I remember, dude, living in Virginia when that happened. Yeah. It was all over TV. Like every yeah. day, I just saw this lady getting hit by a car on TV, and I was like, "All right, it's getting kind of funny." Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I remember going, "All right, dude, all right, come I mean, on, look, dude. This is getting." You guys want us to have some empathy? You got to fucking not show this video yeah, a bunch. Yeah, this is get this shit's getting hella silly right <laughs> now. <dude. laughs> Somebody got to put yakety sacks behind that. Yakety yak. Don't, don't no. protest that. Yeah, don't protest that. Well, that was a. I ran her over with my car. Her body flew with so dang far. <laughs> yakety yak. Don't protest, blacks. <laughs> I think it was a. 
It was a white thing. It was a white chick. No, it was a um, the riot. I can't. Remember. Oh, was it like over? No, a statue? it was a BLM shit. What? It was over a statue. No, it had to be some. B- it was some BLM shit, dude. I swear. No, I think it was a statue. There. Something happened in Virginia, though. I remember. Yeah, there was because there was riots. Riots at the yeah. Confederate statues, or yeah. somebody died by the cops' hands. They or were something. trying yeah. to take statues down. They were, remember? Oh well, people were dying from the cops, and then they were like, you know what? We also need to take down these Confederate statues. Yeah. And I don't know if you know this, but uh, Virginia is very prideful of that shit. Yeah. Uh, the South arrives again, brother. I swear <laughs> to God, and by the South. Uh, I'm referring to my penis. I got blue chew here. You guys use promo code Ridley uh, at uh, checkout for 15% off with blue chew, our newest sponsor of the podcast. Blue chew. It keeps me hard all night long. Blue chew. Blue chew. It keeps me hard all night long. Buy blue chew. Yeah. I want, I want sponsors for this so bad, dude. I want fans too. Be nice. Well, I have like a hundred listeners that every rules. seven days. Yeah, I get about a hundred views every day, and then people are snitching on Taylor that he's not uploading them to Apple Podcasts, which I'm like, okay, I guess <laughs> they're all on there. Yeah, they're and on it, there now. And it's I saw crazy them. Uh, that people even instantly. It. I just started uploading as many as I could. You know, I was just sitting there uploading them, and I uploaded like five in one day, and I look like the next day they all have like sixty views. So like like people are Whoa. yeah it, it was a weird there was a weird so some spike. there's we a fed, big we fed the algorithm and now we're now I'm every week I'm yeah. regular yeah yeah and then when they can find out that you can watch it I'm putting the links in the spot in the Spotify description on everything that fucking rules man you can just put videos on Spotify you can't do that yet yes, you can. unless you're big big famous have no really? I applied I just applied oh, you can just upload the thing so we just have to apply. You cool. should be able to wait. So We're going to spot to me after? Uh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No? Can you send it? Can you uh send me that link after the mic? Yeah. Let's, just Spotify for podcasters. Oh, okay. I'll check it out. You're okay. No, I suck. I'm trash. They got it. They're gonna <laughs> trash. Sorry. They're gonna no, trash no, he the apologized comments. and then you said no, I'm trash. I'm yeah. That's so raven. It's, it's the, the future, future I can see. That's so raven. Something, something to believe. Orlando Brown's fucking crazy. He's full crazy. He's full crazy, dude. I I miss that, dude. He's mentally gone. Dude, he he's a he did a bunch of drugs and definitely got molested, dude. You think he got molested? For sure, Ski got yeah. molested at the dang old Disney. He Stooges. was a cute boy. He was a cute little boy. Yeah, that makes sense. He's yeah, a I don't. Cutie. I think he got. Mo- he went crazy way later because he held in the molestation. I don't know, dude. And the drug money. To be honest, why would he get molested and not Raven? Mo- uh, she she got converted into a lesbian. They turned her into a lesbian. That was her punishment. No that more, no more, only rubber cocks. Yeah. From now on. No Sorry, more Ravens. No more Raven heavies. Yeah. She's like, and it's her like eating a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> she like, that's so Ravens, her like eating some pussy. She's like, what the hell's going on? That's the future I can see. <laughs> that would be crazy, dude, to be able to see into the future. Yeah. Like <laughs> indiscriminately and randomly <laughs> seeing into the future. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, I'm like gonna hang out with my wife tonight, and I can. I'm like, and it fast forwards to the end of the night, and she goes, "Not tonight, honey. I'm not feeling." <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm going out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how fast you were going? I'm like, all right, let me fucking slow the fuck yeah. down, dude. <laughs> fucking. Well, the thing is, those futures are unavoidable. Oh yeah, you're right. That is a thing that it's it's an unavoidable future. And yeah. then when she tries, it still happens. Yeah, that's the whole point of the show. She spends her time trying the, to avoid the future. And the ultimate uh, thing is is like just surrender to the things you can't control. That's like the ultimate message of wow. We figured out that's so raven. Yeah, in like thirty seconds. Now let's figure out Corey in the house. All right, Corey. In the- <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we crack the code of Corey in the house. What is the true meaning of Corey in the house? I never saw it. Dude. I think that guy went crazy too. Kyle Massey. Kyle Massey, dude. Uh, do you remember the Ned's declassified people yes, when that yes, was hot and yes. they were and they were all talking about like just banging on set, dude? Yeah. Could you got, imagine that, dude? He got her pregnant. Yeah, he did. He busted her, dude. Yeah. Recently, right? They got yeah. her. Pre- he got her pregnant. Ned recently. got Moe's pregnant. <laughs> yeah, dude. All like, dude. Ultimately, like childhood and adulthood goals. Like, like Cookie's dude, gay ass. No, <laughs> Cookie is. Cookie was sus, dude. They made yeah, him so the nerdiest, dude. sussiest, 
straight. And dude. still to this day, it looks like on every video of him, it looks like his beard is fake. <laughs> every video from there, every clip, he got a fake beard on. <laughs> that boy got a fake beard. He got a BBL beard. <laughs> BBL cookie. <laughs> BBL cookie. He did have a fucking dump truck on him. They always made him wear those <laughs> khaki shorts and the red polo tucked in, and it just... Well, there was always a kid you went to school with that just had a dummy fat ass. Do you remember Wagon. that kid? Do you remember that kid? No. You never had that kid, dude? We had like, my school looking. had like four of them, dude. No, I wasn't looking. Here's the thing, dude. Here's the thing. I'm not trying to look, but he had his upper portion yeah. is showing signs of like, I'm carrying all this weight on my ass. So yeah. you're like, what are you carrying? You know what I mean? When you see somebody walking and they look like they're struggling a bit, you're like, what's going on? Oh, you have 40 pounds of each ass cheek. You have 80 pounds of ass cheek. You have 80 pounds of yeeks. <laughs> you got 80 pounds of gat hanging off your lower back, dude. <laughs> you fucking... My, oh, my God. I went to school with this kid, Jose. Jose, you know who Jose. you are, dude. Jose, if you're watching this, bro, I know you still got a dumper, dude. We're Jose, like 30 now. if you're watching this, you still got that dump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jose, and I got a fat ass, and you're watching Disney Channel. It's just his ass. <laughs> He's just drawing an ass. Da, da, da. Ours was an autistic kid named Chuck, and he was built like a gorilla. Yeah. And he would just randomly start screaming and stuff, and he would wear like his Stimming. he'd wear his hoodie with like uh, his open his zip up hoodie, just the hood. Yeah. And run around. You know what I mean? Yeah. He just had the fattest dump truck. <laughs> yeah. Dinosaur had, kid. Dinosaur. Yeah. Well, dude, we had this one kid that um. The school let him wear a hat Yeah Because he had that tick Where you just rip hair out of your head Like like fat chunks Yeah like. So like um, Every time we get a substitute or something They wouldn't know the deal with this kid Yeah So they'd make him take his hat off And, and then he'd start ripping hair out And he would just start fucking like Well he was like one of those white kids Where their lips are like pearl. Hair lip No 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 He didn't have a hair lip He was like a pale white kid With pink lips and pink eyelids and blonde hair. Albino? He wasn't albino, though. He was almost. He was a pygmy. He was almost albino. Like, dude, if there was, like, a sliding scale, it was like he was albino maxing, yeah. but he wasn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, he, he always wore a dad hat, and then when the teacher took it off, it was just fucking brutal patches of hair ripped out. I don't know why people do that. It's, what is he doing now? I have no idea. This was, like, middle school. And I was. I, uh, you remember that kid's name? Can we search him? No, no, I have no, no. idea. I Look just know that. Classmates. I just know. He, I just know he went to. He went to York Middle and York High, and he pulled his hair out. It was a, some kid in Virginia. And when I uh, when I lived in Colorado, I went to school with this girl who always did this. Yeah. She blinked like that too. She always. Do you know any weird shit? Do you ever like right. any memories of people doing weird shit? No, because I was hanging out with those guys. Oh, well, <laughs> those were my boys. That was his table, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kid pulling his hair out, the yeah. girl squinting real hard. One time, uh, this is one time my friend Moose, he uh, he was mad at our friend Tyler. We were playing Yu-Gi-Oh at the table. <laughs> he was mad. Tyler went to the bathroom. Moose pulled out some of his pubes. <laughs> and he put it on Tyler's sandwich. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then we just let him eat it. It was so funny. One time, uh, we had, <laughs> we had a, <laughs> it was so, so funny. funny. That rules. It was so funny. In detention, I hawked a loogie, and this, uh, and the teacher assistant who was watching us yeah. on that Saturday, she went to the bathroom, and I went. She was drinking this big ass simply orange juice, and I fucking put a crucial fucking <laughs> eighth grade stoner loogie in that thing, dude. And she fucking, Lugadon. yeah, yeah, the Lugadon. <laughs> we had a friend that um, everybody fucking uh, like took a brush like somebody had taken a brush and they were brushing their ass pubes with it yeah and then they, they um they, uh, they convinced our friend to talk into it like a microphone and take pictures with it and everyone had known that they, he had basically shoved it up his ass yeah and he's like putting his ass particles in his face and brushing his <laughs> hair with it and shit dude why did we do shit like that as a kid bro that's yeah. just fucked why up why did somebody put a hairbrush in their ass yeah somebody well they were brushing their ass pubes and oh. then made him brush and oh. his hair with it yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking rude, dude. That's it's fucking rude horrible. Rude boy. Rude boy. Rude as hell. Rude, rude as hell. Rude. Oh, I do remember this one kid. Uh, this was in Colorado again. A lot of weird fucking kids in, in Aurora. In where, the mountains. Yeah, in the mountains. Yeah, this kid. Uh, this kid Jesse. He was in my YMCA uh, like daycare program, dude. 
any uh i'm you, sorry i just thought about my car again <laughs> oh i'm sorry yeah well uh, this has to deal with the car he was he he got in a car accident when he was like five yeah. and his face had gotten split open so he had this crucial like eyebrow distorting nose and lip and cheek distorting yeah. car wreck scar and uh one day his grandpa came to come get him like drop well he was dropping him off in the morning and his grandpa walked in and this is like the they put us in the cafeteria he walks in the cafeteria it's an old dude with a huge gut overalls no shirt rock fucking hard really? <laughs> dude had a 12 inch boner just what? pitching a tent why dude i don't know he i was eight kids. <laughs> i was eight years old and all i can remember is this kid with a scar on his face getting picked up by an old grandpa in overalls pitching a massive 12 inch tent around kids why he just had to go <laughs> oh he must have been fucking before he came yeah, he had to have taken a Viagra earlier that day, yeah. and then he's like, "Fuck, I gotta go pick gotta up go the kids." Pick up this they won't kid, notice. Grandpa. I'll wear the overalls. They won't notice. <laughs> you know, yeah, those kids. Always, I think they were poor too. Those kids always smelled like cat shit. Yeah, you know, there's always a kid that smelled like cat shit. <laughs> like, there was, a, a, and a girl that uh, shit. There was a girl that she always she pissed the bed. She was like a light skinned black girl, and she yeah. pissed the bed. She always her hair, like you know how it is. Her hair would just absorb the piss smell. And she would come in smelling like freshly pissed bed every day. <laughs> yeah. And I I was in, I, we had a choir thing. Like we had to do like a thing where yeah. we were in the bleachers singing, bro. Yeah. And she was in front of me. And I just had to take deep ass breaths and sing with her piss, her piss <laughs> hair. I was taking fat rips of her piss and <laughs> letting out notes. <laughs> yeah. You're screwing up the lyrics. You're like, oh, say, can you yeah. see Ooh. this girl in front of me smells like pee? <laughs> Did he turn to, you're getting hit to smelling salts <laughs> before yeah. you fucking say? Yeah, I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. All right, Ooh. fellas, we're a professional. <laughs> the show must go on. <laughs> well, I think that's a good place to stop. I had a good time with you, man. I had a good I'm sorry time you got too. sick, dude. I'm glad you made it, though. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, it's all right. I'm at the end of my rope. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of jokes. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> go rest, man. Yeah, I gotta go lay down. And go lay down, dude. Thank, thank you so much for coming. Plug your Thank shit you for real quick, me. Yeah, panties in the mouth. May 25th, Hakuna Matana at the Vulcan Gas Company. Ooh, come to that. It's a comedy show. Ooh. It's also a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata, dude. Yeah. What a wonderful phrase. And then June 8th, after the Noctis. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's Live Laugh Lamare, dude. Yeah. At Live Laugh Lamare. <laughs> Live Laugh Lamare would be crazy. I love that, actually. That rules. Get a little wooden sign. <laughs> Live, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Go get so, one of those. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude, new Live merch. Laugh Lamare might be my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Your solo will yeah. be Live Laugh Lamare. Yeah. L3. I'm in. I'm in, dude. Let's L3 go. and R3, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah. what a wonderful in. what a wonderful collaboration we've had today thank you guys so much for tuning in to radio ridley radio i hope you had fun we talked about doo and me pooping my pants and the mayor throwing up and we watched I some power ranger clips up. and uh what else did we do taylor <clears throat> um do a recap every yeah, episode uh sprite uh, sprite, uh, sprite sucks. chill sucks citronella zins are bad have, gross <laughs> uh Kids from uh, school were weird. Kids from school were weird. Jose had a fat old ass. Uh, so did Chuck. Yep, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, dude. Shout out, Chuck, dude. Miss you every day, brother. Thanks for listening to Radio Ridley Radio. Email us stuff. Oh, yeah. Email us stuff. Send me stuff. If you want to contribute to the show, please put in the comments what we should do. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me if my pussy's loose. Tell me if my pussy's, pussy's tight. tight. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I love you. Bye-bye.